I'm getting ready for Thanksgiving. I can't wait to get in. I love turkey and ham, mashed potato and yams. I went to the world of go karts, realized that I'm too fat. Skinny kids that go faster than me, and just just a matter of facts, I was cutting them off and ran to the wall. I think I broke a toy, but they didn't blame me, so I got out and much joy. Well, welcome back. I'm in the studio, sitting in the producer's chair, and here I am with. When someone told me I had cool hair, I guess that's a good thing. Check, 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 check the mic. I saw Lakers fight, it was a nick. She got a nick on his left eye. I think it was a right eye. He was bloody, and you saw LeBron. He punched and run. He's gonna see what's going on. There needs to be some NBA fights live and in the stage wide. Go right. Just like hockey, just let them go a little bit. Maybe just put some gloves on and let these guys just throw them mitts. That's just my opinion. Say, so let's just run. Oh, I forgot to do run, run this out. Then we're going to run our mouth, and then we're seeing all what's all about, and seeing it's all can get show. I hope you're enjoying the show as we just arrived. I'm gonna take that off. There we go. I'm going to change hats. I could stay here for a while, but I don't like the... This is not a very good camera view. This is no lighting over here, so you're... Typically, you, uh, the quality you get... Well, the quality you get is the lighting, so... The lighting is uh, over there right now. I have the lights off over here. I could just turn a light to me, but... I'd rather go sit over there, so that's what I'm going to do. And continue the rest of this. Because, um, let's see if I marked all these here. A few moments later. I'll be over there. Meanwhile. And we'll talk. Let's see here. Good day, sir. Shit, Negro. That's all you had to say. Oh, man. Welcome to Sunday evening. That's the day it is. I'm over here. There I am on the fucking screen could you imagine is this for kids check no not for kids um sorry about that even though my kids watch this which is terrible you know i don't think they watch anymore i think they've i've i've done a pretty good job of just making it so they don't listen to me anymore you know um so what do you want me to look at that one that one sweet that's want to be cool straight ahead so, lots of things to talk about this Sunday. It's been a while, man. I've been busy, 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 busy life. Even my friend Billy over here, if you ever come to Old Town Clovis, uh, Billy the Goat, you can see the video I posted of him on the website. Um, please check him out. There is no money going to me. There is no benefit going to me. I don't even think I included, like, typically when I put a video, I always put, like, our Legends podcasting intro. I don't think I did either. That was, like, I didn't do that. I think it would be too douchey to, like, you know, Legends podcasting and here's the homeless guy. You know, I'm like, it's just my buddy Billy. I just want you guys to know, hey, here's Billy. He's a vet. You know, um, he was sleeping over here behind uh, AP Fitness. And uh, he was there yesterday. I went and took him a sleeping bag and some food and shit. Um, but he gets tickets and told to move, so I don't think he's there at the moment. Um, let's see how I should look here. You know, I went to a doctor. Oh, I'm going to put that shit down. I don't know if I should talk about that, but, man. Dr. Ass Hurt. That wasn't a name. Um, so, carry on. Um, Billy, by the way, yeah, you old town. You see a guy on the bicycle, talk to him, help him out. He's a vet. It's a fucking... Thanksgiving, I've done everything I possibly can. Give me address, you know. I, you know, I'm do well. I'm busy guy. I'm, you know, so you. It, I don't know what I could do to help as much as I possibly can, but maybe you guys have answers. So please help. Even Jerry Dyer out there, buddy. Um, got a good guy here. Come help him. Um, even churches out there want to reach out, help this guy. <coughs> <coughs> and do what you can. Okay, let me get a little drinky drink here. I, I get my voice gets dry here in the studio. What's the temperature at? 70? Man. Ah, delicious. Um, I didn't even check on the screen to see if uh, what my delay is, but that's just the live stream. You guys can deal with the lip delay. I don't know. I'm sure, pretty sure I already fixed it. it should be, matter of fact, I can look right here. Camera, switcher, 
media, and then I have the audio, then the audio, yeah, I have it delayed there, it should be good, but if not, don't worry, I'll post this later, um, I'll take it home and edit it, you know, I'll start with this, and then i take it home and edit, so, um, uh, do you want to start with sad stuff or happy stuff, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna go, uh, I said go-karts during my rap, which was a terrible rap, by the way, I don't plan any of that, I just, I just, just say, you know, I'm like, I, there's no plan, obviously, it sucks, great, yeah, sometimes it's good, which is, uh, probably not the time to listen to this time, but, um, so yeah, I went go-karting, but the, you know, somebody just took an SUV and plowed into a holiday parade, come on, guys, I mean, I, I, it's so sad, I think everybody kind of agrees, like, it's like the old saying, we can't have nothing nice. You know, I'm like, there's, there's always people fucking it up. From people smoking cigarettes, throwing their cigarettes on the fucking ground like an asshole. People, you know, walking down the street with food and they just drop the food on the ground like a fucking asshole. You know, um, other day, I drive a lot. I drive six hours a day. So, other day, somebody, you know, cut me off and then try to fucking, like, dude, you cut me off, dude, bro. What the fuck's going on? Like, chill out. Or people, come on, bitches. Come on, bitches. Headlights, people. Okay, so there's like a couple things. I just, I, that's not on my list, so I'll put this on here. The traffic, like, come on, guys, let's get here. Let's get to a closer angle here. So, like, let's see if I can write this down. You know what I mean? Like, if there's like car after car after car, like a centipede. See this? Car, 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 and then like you're right here. There you go. So you're like right here, and you're like. Motherfucker, I'm going to get further. So you go there. Oops. Sorry. There in front of me. This is me. You're right here. Man, that's fucking terrible when they move sideways, huh? So right there. Boom. You're the last car. Boom, boom. You, like, want to get forward. So try to cut me off. Like, why, why are you cutting me off? Like, first of all, obviously, doesn't it see like we all want to go? Like, we all are just basically piled up here. So we're politely just waiting for the traffic to get to the situation where we can all spread out and get to where we want to get, be, okay? So don't be the dude where you're going to, like, try to just pass the last guy. Like, bro, do I have to just fucking cut you off? You know what I mean? Like, just to fucking, like, we're all in line. Don't worry. When, the, when it clears up, we're all driving 95. But, I, but if there's, like, Two people, you know, two cars, you come up and you want to go, that's perfectly fine. That's the time to pass, you know what I mean? There's like, or those two cars should get out of the way, personally. I, I get out of the way. But like, you know, people, they fucking, they're driving 65 miles per hour, no matter if it's 70 miles per hour, the sign says slower traffic, merge right. They don't merge right. So you go around them and they're mad because you're not driving the speed limit, so they flash your high beams. What kind of Bitch ass beta move is that? What kind of bitch ass beta move is flashing your high beams? Even what kind of bitch ass move is driving with your high beams? You driving with your high beams? Why? Because you can't see? Because you're a little bitch? Relax. Turn the high beams down. You don't need to see what's way the fuck over there. Or way the fuck over there. You're driving 45. Focus what's right here. Anyways. When I see someone flash their high beams, I'm like, oh my god. Light. Please. Oh, light. Oh, the other day, we were in, um, there was, I was on a freeway, 152, and it's basically... You know, one lane for a long period of time. There's two lanes, but it's a uh, stuck traffic. And there's a car accident. On it. There's nowhere you're going. There's no cross traffic. There's no other path for like 15, 20 miles. And um, so we're, there's literally 10 miles of cars, bumper to bumper, all driving five miles per hour. Guys behind me, he had pretty sure he had his high beams on or just he had those douchebag head, headlights. He's like, I'm pissing off everybody. Like, way to go, dude. Like, you don't have friends. Um, but he was behind me with his high beams and he kept on trying to put him in my side mirror, you know, 
And then first I do the, I do the, I sit down like this when I drive. This is like me. You know what I mean? I'm driving, just chilling. And then people are doing dumb shit. I'm like, what the? What the fuck? They're doing dumb shit. And I'm like, and I sit up in my car. And I'm like, does that motherfucker want to? What the? F what is going on? This dude thinks. And usually what happens is they drop back like far, five car lengths. When they realize the top of my head is the top of my car. I'm not like nobody. I'm not trying to, I'm masking it, but I'm like way bigger than they think I am it's in the car. Like this little fucking guy, and he can't even stick his head over the fucking seat. And then I sit up and my head hits the thing and I, I can reach out my hand out the side window on the other side. The dude's all, I'm going to back up a little bit. I don't know who this guy is. You know, meanwhile, I'm a vegan, No, I'm not. but anyways, so yeah, so this guy has high beams, like. Right, my and I'm like I'll avoid him. I notice a guy in front of me is a cop, an undercover cop car. So I get my car inside so he can high beam the cop, and the cop just get pissed off and choke him out. So then it's a little like ten, fifteen miles. So I'm like, oh well, I don't need any of these side light or mirrors. So I just turn the mirrors so the light flashes back in him. That was fun. And then we did that for like five miles. I didn't see any light, but he had the light flashing in him. And then finally he got pissed and he. Pulled over to, like, you know, try to, you know, right, you know, there's just constant cars. But he got in the right lane and tried to go, so I just got right behind him. And then I rode him <laughs> for the next 20 miles. Like, you know, vroom, 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 vroom. like, my light will never leave your, your side mirror. Why why do you do that? Like, we're just chilling, you know. I have to drive 150 miles. Like, I'm, I'm just going to mind my own business, but, you know, these people, like, there's the worst drivers, like. It is embarrassing sometimes. I drive a lot, so I'm a go kart driving, uh, driving, and I think I'm a pretty good damn driver. You know, uh, the only problem is I'm, I'm fat. You know, I'm big and fat. I'm 230 pounds, six foot two, fat guy. You know, I've noticed actually. I I went to the doctor and they weighed me. I'm 228. I'm like, man, I'm losing weight, but not really. I'm not letting it lose weight. The weight the weight is just shifting. Like where where it used to be up here in this this white gelatin bruised ass scale, you know, arm here, it now has gradually gone to my belly, which is not good. I gotta work on that. And they said my cholesterol is high as I went back to in and out. I guess that's fucking why, huh? What time is it, matter of fact? Um here, I got fucking four computers in this room. This is silly. Um eight twenty on a Sunday evening. Man, I'm gonna oh I got Popeyes at home. That much have high cholesterol. I gotta work on that. I said I was vegan. I should be vegan. That's it. But this day, I'm going to make an effort to get a plan. And sometime after Thanksgiving, because I got a lot of food coming, and I will do much better and eat better. Um, I did buy some yogurt and some granola the other day. Um, you know. But by the time I like get to break time when I eat my food, I've already been awake for like seven hours. So if I take yogurt, I don't take ice packs. It's just too much work. What I do, you know, a lot of stuff going on. I can't be taking all these extra packages and stuff. So, um, yeah, yogurt gets bad by the time I get to this. I just eat granola raw, but yeah. Went to the doctor. The doctor checked me up. I'm 45, so a man up, guys. Do what you got to do. Okay, let's be honest with this. Okay, 45, I went and did my blood work, found out cholesterol's not so good. Um, everything else is money. My well, my, cholesterol, my body fat index is not so good. They said, you, you're you fat. And I said, is there a medical term for that? They're all obese. I'm all, okay, I'll take fat. You know, like, man, that was mean. I don't think you need to say any of those words. You could just give me a percentage of my body index and say that's abnormally high compared to average people that are your size <laughs> anyways um no yeah, so yeah they did that and then um just grabbed my penis grabbed my balls i don't know if that was part of it but I, when i went there i wasn't planning on getting naked you know i thought like i should probably get a rectal exam sometime but i don't think she does that don't you gotta go to a proctologist or something Special appointment, like something like you build up your mind to, like, okay, this is going to happen, dun, 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 you know, like prepared for it, you know, you know, do some bathing and waxing maybe, or some serious scrubbing, or like, thoughts. 
Anyways, uh, so yeah, I went to the doctor, and then they're like, cool, do this, and uh, strip naked. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. I strip naked? Damn. And they're all, and, you know, literally, let me let me do an example for you. If you're uh, um, on the, this on the podcast, you're not watching this on YouTube, I'm, I'm going to hold up about a piece of paper. And the lady saw, here, strip naked, and cover yourself with this. I'm like, what? I'm like, what am I going to do? I'm like, turn my penis into a... KKK member like this is not big enough like what is going on with this that is not appropriate at all like this is not enough to to do what you think you you're gonna do with this piece of paper it's not there's a towel it's not, like give me a break help me out lady so I left my underwear on and then you know just I just you know put a little wet like a lick a little on my penis and then I stuck the towel to the penis and it was like you know like you know do my head like this stick there, but it didn't do it in my head that time because my head's probably oilier. I just did it in my head or whatever it is. But it was like it stuck there, and then the lady came over. And then, then she was nice, and she like, and then she like wanted to touch my penis part, so she pulled my pants down and and checked the penis, and then she said, "So have you had the um, rectal exam?" I was like, "No, nah, I'm pretty sure that's like that's like something we probably do soon, huh?" It's like, "Yeah, I could do that." I'm like, "Oh, cool." Okay, um, you can do that. So, like, she's okay, and like, quickly, she gets the gloves out. She said, like, Don't worry. I'm like, Ah, that's kind of scary, you know? I'm like, she's like, Ah, oh, man, women have eight pound babies, and they come out my vagina, and I'm just gonna put like three or four, fin- four fingers. It's like, okay, one or two. Oh, two, one. I'm one. Like, this is a negotiation. Like, what's going on here, lady? Man, what the hell? I'm like, look, I'm not worried about the penetration part. You know, I mean, that's not a, not that like I, I'm looking forward to a penetration part, but it's not something I'm fearing. Like, you know, the doctor put, I'm not a child. You know what I mean? I don't know how anal, and I'm going to edit that out. That's not good at all. But I'm like, I guess the term I mean is I'm like, I'm not. Uh, I would use the term homophobic or immature that I'm worried that the, the doctor is going to put his finger in my butt and all of a sudden it's going to, I mean, I don't know what the thought, what do people fear? You know, I just worried that it's, it's shithole. You know, you're going to a shithole. Like I wouldn't recommend anybody going to the shithole. You know, like if you went to my house and there was a part in the backyard where it was like really nasty. I'm like, yeah, don't fucking go back there. Like, well, I got to test some shit. Well, don't, don't go back there. It's a shithole. Don't don't go don't go back there. Like, well, I just gotta put my finger. No, why are you gonna do that? I'm like, are you gay? I'm like, no. It's just, it's shit, bro. It's like you don't have to go back there. Anyways, I have no problem with gays, but hey, do your thing. Um, so I don't think they do rectal exams. They might do a rectal something, but not rectal. Anyways, so anyways, the lady, so she lubed up aggressively because you know, um. She thought it'd be tight, and I was loose. I was like, I'm like, not like my butt was loose, but like I was, I was not, I'm using all the wrong words this time, but I was relaxed. She thought it'd be tense, but I was relaxed, and the butthole was really tight. She said, this is the tightest butthole I've ever stuck my fist into. I'm like, your whole fist? I'm like, no, I was joking. So she didn't, none of those things happened, um, except the rectal exam. So she did, you know, she stuck her finger in there. And I maybe might have two fingers. And then she's like, I'm going to walk through it. I'm going to push here. You might feel like you have to pee. I'm like, no. I feel like I have to shit. You're in my asshole. So here. Yeah, you're in my ass. I don't feel like I have to pee. I feel like I have to shit. You know? And she's like, okay, that's good there. I'm going to feel around. She like, she did like a, a twist. You know, like, you know, like it was like, like, like up here and like, okay, like a roundabout. Like, I don't know when the inside of my butthole is even like that. I thought it was just like a fucking tube, but it felt like she fucking, like there was an inside lip or something. I don't fucking know what's going on. But she was deep in there. There was a lot of fucking gruesome stuff going on. And now we're counting it down. It might have been like 10 seconds. But at that time, it felt like 10 minutes. Like, what is going on, lady? Are you planting a flag? Is this fucking far out west? Are you trying to claim some property back there? That is my shithole. Please stay away. I'm scared. So anyways, widescreen, focus, close up. Okay, here we go. So anyways, so she finally pulled it. This is two days of two back-to-back episodes of shit asshole talk. 
she got pulled herself out and she said some people feel like they're going to poop or pee i feel no i feel like i'm going to shit on you like you know like you just did like a finger vaseline enema you know like you just like kind of like said come out this way boys like if you like ever did plumbing and like there's a pipe of like mud or like maybe plumbing with people like we do electrical work we put pipe in the ground sometimes mud like man there's some mud in there you you would get like a screwdriver you know and you would stick it in there and then it would come out like that's how you would that's how you get shit out is like you know if there was something in there you you take the finger and i guess you would i guess exactly what you did you do it like a half circle and you and so like when it came out it could have been just vaseline but it did not feel good. And then they're like, you can go do blood work now. I'm like, nah, dude. Like, I feel like I have a horse shack disease, but see my butt cheeks. Like, what is going on back there? It might have been clear, but I cannot see back there. It feels like caca. I got to go home. But the whole place, right? So I'm in the room still. They're like, they said, go ahead. You're done. And, you know, you, you, you know so like, I'm a, I got the little paper and I'm holding up. Like this, shivering on a little towel against my chest, you know. And I'm like, I'm done. And she's like, Yeah, you can get dressed. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and I get dressed. And then I'm like, I guess I just leave because sometimes they, the doctor leaves, and then the nurse comes back in and they give you like more information. But I'm like, I don't want to talk to anybody right now, you know. So I get dressed. <laughs> I get dressed and I let's walk. Out. But everybody knows what just happened. Oh, you came for a physical. They know that she just fucking got you in the booty, right? They know. I just had to do the walk of shame. It was all females. Not that it matters, I guess. But it was it was all female. I had to do the walk of shame. But I had to do it like it was no big deal. Like I had to act like I was John Travolta. You know, I had to walk through like I was cool. And like I didn't have a Vaseline horse shack between my butt cheeks that I didn't feel uncomfortable with, you know, and then I had to like, when I sit in the car, I couldn't sit in the car like, like I, I, like I was violated or like I was moving or anything like that. Like I just had to like get in the car like normal. Everything had to be normal. I had to look normal, I had to feel normal, right? Until I got in the car and I cried. <laughs> okay, I did not cry, okay? But I got in the car, I was like, man, I got to get home and take a shower. You know, obviously I obviously didn't go right to shower because I went to go straight to the bathroom because I felt like, at that point, I was like, luckily the doctor's office and my house were not very far apart. It was like a five-minute drive. But I was like, oh, I need to get home. I need to shower. I need to change the bottom half. But I need to go back also, like, like this didn't affect me. Like, when I see, I need to go back to the doctor because I had to finish my blood work. But I had to put on the same clothes. Like, I didn't shower. And, like, I didn't just, you know, go, you know, get, you know, through the whole, you know, crying game at home. So, but then I went to the bathroom and showered, cleaned up. And, and I won't tell you the whole final results of it all. Oh, my, my butt is good. I'll give you that result. The, the doctor said, one, you got a tight butthole. Um, two, um, you look um, very young, nice down there, very well trimmed. I don't know. Um, but no, and no, no, uh, no blood in your stool, nothing. So healthy looking good which is one thing i fear is butt and diabetes so the two things even though it was cholesterol that got me which i know i need to work on that but seriously cut out sugar and then um don't break a butt um and not with like physical use but like more with like uh uh food and alcohol and uh but don't put food and alcohol in your butt so yeah Doctor appointments. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm healthy. Except for cholesterol, I've got to change the diet a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I went go karting. Um, that's how it started off. Went down to here to go karting, and then you know I'm racing. The kid behind me is like 90 pounds. I'm 230, and he's trying to pass me. You know, trying to cut me off somewhere. I'm just gonna fucking ride him into the wall. You know. That happened like 10 times until finally this chick, who I'm pretty sure, was working with him, like, you know, together. And then she fucking cut me off. And then he got me out wide because he's fucking 90 pounds. So he's much faster than I would be because I'm fat. But anyways, I made his turn. Like, as soon as I took off, you make a left and you make a left. And then finally they let you go full speed. And I go to make this right. But my left tie rod was broken. So I made the right turn. But the left wheel didn't go anywhere. So when I gassed it. I fucking, boom, made the right turn. I, I ran right into a wall. And it wasn't just a wall. It was a, it was a pillar holding the building. And I hit that thing as hard as you possibly could. Ba boom. I smashed it. And, you know, it was stopped. And then I'm like, fuck. I'm like, sorry, man. I ran right. 
I, I try to turn it, fucking smack. They're like, sure, dude. Sure, you fucking boomer. I'm like, no, bro. Like, sound like that. And then, like, I tried to turn, and then I looked at my cart. I'm like, turn the steering wheel, and sure enough, I can see the tie rod's broken. I'm like, yeah, bitches. I knew what I was talking about. I'm like, fucking check it out, you know? So, here we go. Um, court, that's pretty cool. Money on the street. Let's keep this up with cars, huh? Um, you see the other day, Money on the Street? There was a video. Let's see, I'll probably show a clip of that when I do the editing on YouTube. Um, but everybody's seen the money on the street. And matter of fact, I probably pulled up here. See here. Uh, uh, money on the street. Oh, yeah. Freeway. Street. Boom. Same shit. Um, what do you do if you found money on the street? No, I just want to see videos. Money on the street. I have to go to the freeway? Really? Is that the one? You guys can't figure it out. Yeah, so the other day, I don't know exactly what happened, but it looked like. Um, turn this fucking down. A bag fell out of one of these trucks, the money trucks, in, in Carlsbad, I 5, which isn't pretty far away from my max yet. But. Yeah, it got in a minor accident. And then as the accident happened, all this money flew out in the streets. It was ones and twenties as I hear. Let's see what this lady has in her hand. Yeah, ones and twenties. But people were picking them up, you know? People were picking up and then a lot of people took them back. I think the reason why I took them back because this fucking chick put it on TikTok. You fucking Takashi 6 9 you fucking rat. Like, give me a break. There's money in the street. You don't got to go put that shit out on the internet let people collect let's see here yeah here, what's the girl's name uh Dima baby there's money everywhere people are grabbing it oh my god her said her mind's blown oh there's money everywhere everybody's all happy and they all took a lot of people took it back you know but like yeah i found like 17 dollars bro you know I thought I'd be like, I found like seventeen bro, seventeen dollars and like twenty seven cents. You know, meanwhile, like, bro, your cargo pants are pretty puffy. I don't know, that's why I wear cargo pants, man. Because they put stuff in them. Like, you ever play marbles or like you like sunflower seeds? Or this one's full of twenties. Um, but yeah, it's fucking. You know, who would think that a minor accident would cause just cash to fly out like crazy? But yeah, that chick just fucking ruined it for everybody. Money on the street. But what would you do, you know? If you were out there on the freeway, and you're driving, and, and all of a sudden there's a money truck explosion, there's money everywhere, you're going to get out, you're going to pick it up, right? Granted, if this chick caught you on video camera, you're going to post to put it back. But I guess also, I don't know. I don't think it came, you don't have a serial number if it came from a bank, maybe, but they still would only... They wouldn't know what serial. There's too many serial numbers to take care of. I can imagine they have all the serial numbers. I don't know how the fucking Brinks truck works. It could have came from a Target. Just a bunch of handful of COVID bills, you know. I got ones, tens, and COVIDs. Who who wants some? Come get some. Hell yeah. But that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm just going to follow Brinks trucks around there for now on. Wait for someone to cut them off. See what's going to happen. Who got that Brinks truck? Let's see, we've got a time over there. Start recording. Stop recording. Time. Who knows? I can check my phone. I ain't doing that even. Fuck that. So, they had the Rittenhouse uh, verdict the other day. I read something. I thought about this before. Like, I thought it was always a good idea. Because, um... Well, I knew somebody who went to, um... They got chosen as a juror. And they went to jury selection. And the person that was, you know, who was uh, being convicted of a crime or, you know, um, was being charged with a crime had gang tattoos all over their face. And they looked at, man, if you, like, had to draw a scary gang member, like, this person looked like a scary gang member. And then you had to, you got to see the person and then try not to judge them by their looks. You know, I mean, not, not just their, you know, we're, we're way pop. You know, this is not modern day. We don't care what race and whatever it is or even, you know, whatever it is. I mean, but 
when you voluntarily choose to do things to yourself, that's when we're like, okay, that's what they did. They they chose to to put a you know gang member tattoo on their face or you know fuck the police on their forehead or it might be. So it's like, okay, it's hard to believe that he's you know now he he loves the cops and says say fuck the police on his forehead. You know what I mean? So but um. So you know, I was thinking maybe if they just had like. It's pretty modern. Why can't we just do holograms? Or you know, um, we could pretty much replace everybody with just you know an animated character. So the whole courtroom doesn't have to. We don't have to hear your voice anymore. It can be as as bland voice as possible. So we're just getting you know no emotion. We're getting straight evidence and facts. But if you, I guess you want to pull at the heartstrings and make people you know see him cry and see you know like Rittenhouse when he he did the crying. I don't know. People believed it. To me. People try to say it's post-traumatic stress, but, you know, if you're at the bar afterwards posing with the, you know, you're holding up the, you know, white pride symbol with your hand and um, you're hanging out with proud boys and you're laughing it up and doing selfies and then you're trying to cry. But then when they show the video of actually the people dying and you don't cry when you're, the video is in the court of the person that you shot is dying, but you don't cry. It's like, oh, I don't know. It's hard to believe you. You know, I, I think the time when you see the person dying, that would make you cry. But like, man, no matter what, if you, no matter, unless you knew the person ahead of time, like if you knew the person, like somehow you were mentally or emotionally connected to the person and then shit went bad and like you're fucking, like, you, like there's anger, you know what I mean? There's some emotional anger and you kill the person. Then obviously you're like, yeah, fuck that dude. I fucking hated him. We have fucking beef, bro. But if you don't know the guy and it's just a scenario... You're like, man, I'm sorry. I, I didn't want to be in that scenario. He didn't want to be in that scenario. No matter what, you should feel human emotions. You know? You would feel bad. No matter what. I always say I hate when someone has to break into my house because I have to shoot a hole in my roof. Hopefully, I'm like, or shoot the hole and someone would be like, oh, shit, he has a gun. He's going to leave. And then fucking round two. I can come towards you, you know, I have kids and shit, so I don't want to be shooting, ding, 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 kid, 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 robber, you know, so, um, but yeah, maybe it's had hologram people, um, I think D.L. Hoogley was the one who posted it, I read that, I was like, I thought the same thing, maybe just have some kind of cartoon or something, be easier just to, you know, not have to show, um, a race or a tattoo or, you know, whatever it is a person looks like, you know, you know, maybe people don't like fat people or skinny people or people with, uh, straight teeth or good looking people. Like, uh, when I do stand up, if I go on stage, um, right away, I, people think I'm an undercover cop or a right wing and it's like, fuck, or, you know, if I'm, you know, if people think, if they think I'm good looking, they're like, oh, I don't want to hear this fucking tall, fat, you know, semi good looking guy. I want to hear a fucking dork or a, an a ugly guy or a fat guy, someone who's struggling in life. I want to laugh and we laugh at their their troubles, you know. So um, unless you already have a following, it's, it's hard sometimes. You got to really win them over. So uh, you know, sometimes you got to be self self deprecating if people say, you know, and let them know, hey, I'm just fucking, I don't got to figure it out. I just got the stupid hair. You know what I mean, ding 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 ding. So it is what it is, but uh. Yeah, doctor, finger butt, um, car, guy drove a car through a crowd, not very happy, happy holidays, um, I'm too fat for go-karts, but I still did pretty good, um, the basketball fights, man, tonight I saw LeBron James going after it with, uh, the guy from the Knicks, I don't even know the fucking guy of the Knicks, but LeBron James got, uh, tossed, and apparently the guy got a bloody, I didn't see the punch when we got hit, I don't know how it happened exactly, but he got his eye cut up in a little bit. There should just add a little bit of boxing to basketball. Like, they're already roughing it up. Why don't I just give, like, they can just do sim fights somewhere. Like, some, these guys these guys want to brawl, go ahead and go. Throw some punches. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I don't want, I have, obviously I don't like when the, the sport, kids will mimic the sport. So you don't want to see, you know, getting fighting out there on the ring, I guess. I guess that's why it's fighting in hockey, but. 
I don't know what what's said on the basketball court, how it goes, but like I know there's certain things like I, when I, I play basketball a lot, I used to go to the gym a lot and play basketball. There's certain things like sneaky or like almost like cowardly moves. Like, dude, you didn't need to fucking bump me all crazy like that. Oh, while well, I was blocking you, like, nah, dude, like. We're just all playing rec league or something like that, or like you know. Obviously, that's more of a uh, it's it's a professional. You're trying to win, but still, you don't want to hurt the guy or do something stupid. Or you're trying to play the sport fair. It's like football. I mean, you're not trying to to break the guy's leg, or you're not trying to you know hurt him. Besides tackling him really hard, but you don't want to really just do something like oh man, if I if I hit his leg, I'll break his leg. That's not what fucking want to do. That's not the game plan. You know what I mean, that's not what you want to do. And it seems like sometimes in these sports, sometimes they might do it. And that might have happened. I don't know what happened. I didn't see. But, you know, shit. They, they were getting wild. Maybe they got to fight. I don't fucking know. They got to get at it. Maybe we got to get at it. What's here? Maybe I'll call this. Camera one. Camera three. There we go. There we go. Boom. And my new, my new, 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 new favorite attraction in the house. We're going to start start with with that medium delay. delay. (sighs) Um, I should put some more beats on that. Okay, okay, well, well anyways, anyways, ladies and ladies gentlemen, gentlemen, I'm going to end this stream, stream out, out here. here. We're going to hit, hit this, this beat. beat. And, and we're, we're going. going. If you need a little something, something to relax, relax your mind, 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 m